the things that we love to do when we come out to Florida and in particular Orlando is go shopping. Orlando has great outlets and factory stores. Um, and I feel like most people, they go to Orlando and they do all the theme parks. So they do like Disney and Universal and things like that. But we do amazing at all the factory stores. Um, so I just wanted to show you a couple of the things that we got. Um, so we went to two different Tommy Hilfiger's um, because we are a Tommy Hilfiger family. We love Tommy Hilfiger. Um, and so Bagheera, Bagheera, we needed to get a new bag for her um, because we had gotten this bag. This is a Tommy Hilfiger. It's just like a little, little duffel. We had gotten this in Lake George in 2020. Um, it was summer 2020. It was our first, actually no, October of 2020. It was our first, you know, big vacation outside um, after the pandemic. Um, and they, Lake, the Lake George outlets in New York, they have, especially Tommy, they have amazing deals. Um, and while we were riding the plane on this time around, um, the, the strap broke. So we had the intention of getting her a new bag. And yes, I could get her a new bag, but like I said, we're a Tommy Hilfiger family. So um, we wanted to look for that. So we went to this Tommy. They were both in Orlando. I will drop the um, addresses in the, in the comments of where exactly we went. Um, so this is her new bag. It's a different shape. Um, so this is originally $50. Um, originally $50. It was 30% off. Um, so we got it for $29.46. Um, it's just small. We had used a bigger duffel for her before, but we found that we were just putting all of our stuff in it, so it was getting so heavy. Um, so we just need it for like her treats and wipes and her little bathroom bags, a toy. We keep a water bottle in there, so that was that. We got that for $29. Um, this sweatshirt is a sweatshirt that we had been looking we actually went to the woodbury commons for us we're from new york like i have said many times and the new york is known for the woodbury commons people travel all over the world to go there the only problem with the woodbury commons is that it's not really they don't have good discounts it's not really a great outlet um so this sweatshirt we have loved i don't know if you can see let me see if i can get it um we had loved this design. And let me see if I can just turn it open. Okay, so here's the, the front picture of the sweatshirt. Um, so like I said, it's $120, which is a normal price for a Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt, especially like a special, um, but it's a lot of money. Um, we actually got this for $16. Um, yep, yeah, so I couldn't turn it down. $16 we got it for. So this was our, our next uh, purchase at that time. The next item at this Tommy Hilfiger that we went to is just a basic, a basic sweatshirt in the lavender. Very cute. It has the little logo in the corner. Um, this was originally $99. We also got this for $16. Um, I'm also part of like the Tommy Hilfiger friends and family promotion, so I always get 15% off at the outlets. So for those three items, we had a total of $62 that we paid, which is really not that bad, considering that um, the most expensive item, if it was full price, would have been $50. So we did really good there. So that was the first Tommy Hilfiger. Then we had the second Tommy Hilfiger. Okay, so we got this sweatshirt. It was the same as the purple one, except in black. This was $9.99, and this was originally, originally $99.50, and we got it for $9.99. Next, we got a gray in the same pattern, also $9.99, originally $99.50. And then we bought 
just a pair of basic leggings. Um, they have the Tommy. Let me see if I can get it. They have the Tommy on the side. Um, these were $14.99, and they were originally $50. Um, so this was the most expensive thing that we bought. Not too bad. Um, so total here $37.59. And once again, I'll put the address in the in the comments of where we went. Um, then we went to a couple Nike factory stores, but I only purchased. Um, shoes in one. So the Nike factory stores are actually clearance stores. Um, so these shoes I got for with tax $64. I bought Air Force Ones. Luckily I have very small feet so these are actually kids. So these are kid size 7. Very cute, only $59. They're silver, and then an off-white at the bottom, gray uh, heel, so I can wear this one pretty much every day. Um, almost every time we come to Orlando, we leave with shoes from the Nike Factory Clearance Store. There's actually a bunch of them, so we will hit up a bunch as we're, as we're walking around. Um, then I went to the Premium Outlets, and I went to Lane Bryant. I got just a basic, it's like a sheer um, animal print dress shirt. Very basic. Um, but I got this for, let's see, it was originally $59 and I got it for $21. Cola t shirt. Um, this Coca Cola t shirt was originally $43 and I got it for $17. And then I bought an Aaliyah t-shirt, same thing. Got it for $17. And then it has in the back, like the concert dates. So in total, I spent $60 there. Now lastly, we went to the character warehouse in the premium outlets. So we had been watching YouTube videos of things to do in Orlando and we are huge Disney fans. And this time around in Orlando, we just did Universal. We didn't go to Disney, so I had to get my Disney fix. Now, watching the videos, I have just been like dreaming and dreaming every night of going to the store because we're huge Disney fans in my family. Um, it's basically just a clearance from the parks. Um, and when we would watch videos, we went last January and a lot of the things that we bought for like $100 were on sale for like $30, $40. So we, we went there next. Let um, me see if I get the receipt so I can tell you exactly. Yeah, the character warehouse, um, it's in the premium outlets and I will give the address to that as well. Let's see. So, we got these sweatpants. They're Huey, Julie, and Louie. It's stitched on. The detail is really good. You've, I've never seen pants like this. And Disney in general is just very expensive. Is it worth it? Yes. Um, but sometimes I don't have any money. Um, so these pants, we got these for $30, $30, yep. I don't think it had, any, they don't have the original price. Oh, they do. Um, originally $50 and we got it for $30. So very nice. Next, I got a Donald Duck, I call them ugly Christmas sweaters. I don't know what the real name is for them. But very nice. It's like a royal blue. They had a yellow Mickey, um, but Matt, convinced me to get the Donald because you know you really can get Mickey a lot of places um, but to get this and especially in a plus size I need a 3x um, yeah. Let's see. Um, so this I got for also for $29 and it was originally $70 so I got this for more than half off this was an amazing deal Everybody who knows me, I love plushies. We get plushies pretty much everywhere we go. When we went last year, we got the 50th anniversary um, 
Mickey's, which I love, is sitting in my room. So this we actually got, let's see, $12.99. Yep, we got this for $12.99, and it was originally $34, which is a crazy price. And it does say the 50th anniversary on the ear. So cute. Next, I got these two tumblers. Um, I am a huge Nightmare Before Christmas fan. This is one of my favorite movies. You see Oogie Boogie. It has the dice. Um, I got one. Going in, I had, when I watched the videos, there was tons of Nightmare Before Christmas merchandise. So going in, one of my best friends, her birthday is in March. So I'm like, you know what? We're going in February. I'm going to get her something, Jack or Sally, whatever. Um, but then I saw these and I was obsessed with them. So I got one for her for her birthday and I got one for myself too. Because one for you, one for me. These were $7.99 each. Originally $24.99 and I got them for about $8 a piece. I got both of them for less, less than it would have been for a full price item. Um, we also got these Crocs. If you can see, and they even come with a Mickey Mouse giblet on it. So cute. I got these from my mother in law um, because she loves Crocs. I am not a fan of Crocs, but um, they were such a good price. So originally, let's see if there's an original. I don't see an original price on here, but I know Crocs are expensive. Um, but I got these for $24.99. And they're very cute. And they're like a blue color. We also got my mother-in-law these ears. These were only $3.99. Um, I don't think it has. It doesn't have an original price. But usually these are around like $30 and up. So we got her cute little ears that she could wear. She's also a huge Disney fan. Um, and then lastly for the fur babies. I got for Bagheera and her cousin Storm, my sister's dog, little dog shirts that say Mickey on them. I got the matching ones. They actually don't get along, but um, <laughs> we make them take pictures with each other. Um, so I bought these for $14.99 each. And originally they were $40, so less than half. So we did awesome. So that was my... Um, that was my shopping spree in Orlando. Um, in Universal, I didn't buy that much. I bought um, a really nice ornament, um, and then I got myself an ET, which maybe I can, I'll, I'll show in a different video. And then this is also not including what my husband pur purchased and what my brother-in-law purchased as well. So we, we always do a lot of shopping in Orlando, so I just wanted to show everyone uh, when you're looking for things to do in Orlando besides the Disney and Universal and the theme parks, um, you can save a lot of money at these stores if you if you uh, are willing to take them home. We actually brought an extra suitcase for that reason. So, all right.